More bad news for Harry and Meghan. Their charity, Archwell, which is named, of course, after their four-year-old, Archie, has this year seen donations drop by nearly £9 million. That's Ooh, $11 million. But that's not the only bad news. Mm. Uh, Showbiz magazine, The Hollywood Reporter, uh, has dubbed the couple amongst the biggest losers of 2023. Despite that, yesterday, they released a glitzy video showcasing the work of the Archwell Foundation. Well, they might want to be taken to their happy place because it is all doom and gloom for them this morning. Uh, let's speak to the editor of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, who joins us this morning. Always lovely to see you. Oh, they won't be happy with, with all of this, will they? Well, I think they'll especially be unhappy with the remarks in The Hollywood Reporter because it's like a Bible in the areas that they work in. And I think that they feel that they've basically been ridiculed. Um, of course, they're still making money and it's still successful, but it's just such a huge drop on last year. And the problem is they've been ridiculed and they have become something of a joke in their own adopted, well, Harry's adopted country. and. As, as we all know, or we've learned that, you know, Hollywood is very fickle and that's the market they need in order to sell, sell themselves and sell their goodwill and sell their good works. And uh, on what, top of it, they've produced Ingrid, this. Ingrid, what are, what are they selling? Here, as you can see. What are they selling? You see, the point well, is, if we, go, they... if we go to the Invictus Games, we know that uh, the war wounded, that... Harry and, and I think Meghan represent on, on that front and they can do that in the UK and they can do that in the USA. But I think once you get to this Archwell business, I couldn't tell you what it stands for. Could you tell what it stands for? Yeah. Just a, a lot of do-gooding, I, I don't know. But should they not solidify and concentrate on one or two things in particular? I absolutely agree. I think uh, no one uh, can really tell you what Archwell exactly is trying to do. They, they want to spread the word, um, uh, but what word? It's not very. It's not very simple. Um, and they want to do good, as as you say. But what kind of good do they really want to do? Um, it's not clear at all uh, what they are trying to do. And it seems to me that they don't really know what they're trying to do. Well, that they have been very, very quiet for a number of weeks. We haven't heard or really seen them. Uh, they've dropped this video, which we can see uh, some commentators, I think probably a bit cynically saying it was sort of to try and keep up with the with the um, Waleses who did that video, similar video of sort of do-gooding yesterday. Uh, but what they haven't done and what a lot of people were expecting and hoping for them to do is come out and condemn Omid Scobie and his book and the allegations made within it, which makes people suspect that, in fact, they were uh, once again the source yeah. for Omid Scobie's book. So it's interesting they've come out, broken their silence with this video. It said nothing about Endgame. Their, their PR is very, very strange to us. It seems that it concentrates on not listening to what's happening but just going ahead with what they're doing and it's very strange that they haven't distances distanced themselves from scoby's uh, very unpleasant book and i feel that uh, I, I don't know why they haven't made it makes you feel that they must in some way be involved with it although he denies that but i think the, your main point is that nobody really knows what they're trying to do and uh, i mean the princess of wales released a video with her and her and and the children and it was very simple it was very obvious what they were doing and it was just very sort of homely this is very slick and it still doesn't tell us what they're trying to do apart from hug a few veterans i know that that is harry's big thing is military veterans but uh, all Megan ever seems to do is just hug a lot of people and i i think that's just doesn't tell us what she's really wanting to message to get across well big hug to you ingrid always good to hear from you compliments of the season to you thank you very much indeed